seven verses today. And I'm just going to preach a little bit tonight. So I run out of gas, which I'm about running on the one quarter of a tank right now. <coughs> if you get the A's and you'll you fill me back up. Amen. <laughs> Don't drive the dog because I said that. <laughs> Over here, Luke chapter 15, verse 1. Every Bible you can turn there. Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for the years. <coughs> and the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with him. Man ain't got something. And he spoke this parable unto them, saying, What man of you having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it. And when he has found he layeth upon his on his shoulders rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends, and friends and neighbors, and saith, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep, which was lost. And I say to you that likewise your shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth. Yes. More than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. Father, bless the reading of the word tonight and help us tonight. Lord, we need you to touch us. Give us that strength that only comes from above. They were the testimonies, they were the songs of worship tonight, God. May God help us this day and do a work in the service. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 The Lord. <coughs> The Bible has a lot to say about sheep. And I got this, I, I run across this article a few, about a month, about two or four weeks ago. And I put it down, I saved it on my iPad because I said, that had to preach. That had preach. But we read about the sheep. Do you know the sheep is one of the dumbest animals ever? Do you know the sheep is a dumb and animal? You know that the sheep can actually get lost inside of the flock. But I got to studying about this, and many times when the the the, the, the lamb, the, the mother lamb, gives birth to the children, to the babies, a new lamb would give a give birth to them, but once in a while, once in a while, there'll be a little lamb that that mama you won't have to go reject. And what a thing it was as I read this. But we're going to read tonight and talk about this tonight, and I hope it'll be a blessing to you. Every once in a while, like I said, that mama, that you lamb, I have some little, little lambs, little sheep. And for some, no, it may be different reasons why she rejects that little lamb. But she will literally push it to the side. And she would literally starve it to death, won't let it know. If they return it back to there, she might even just kick that lamb away, that little baby lamb away. And they say this in the character of a you lamb. If she rejects that lamb, she'll never change her mind about accepting it. No. But I got to read and study and think about this. Those little, they say those little lambs, when they get rejected, listen to this, they say it looks like there's something wrong with that lamb, that little, little lamb's neck. They say it will hang his head down real low. And they say what is wrong with that little lamb? He has a broken spirit. And if you would look at that lamb like that, you would think something was wrong with its neck. Because it was so 
distraught. And I got a reading about that these lambs, they call these lambs bummer lambs. For what reason, I do not know, but they call them bummer lambs. And I got studied about this. And it said, unless the shepherd intervenes, that lamb will die rejected and alone. Don't that sound a little familiar? Well, we got before we were saved, we were aliens from God. The world, our, mor our moral condi our, our, our condition, our moral, our spiritual state, was decayed. We were defeated. <coughs> but we got to look at here and see this tonight. That shepherd, when he walked and seen them lamb, you know what he does? He don't just kick him to the side. They tell the shepherd what he does. He'll take that little bitty little lamb. Mm. They're home with him. He'll bottle feed him and keep it warm. Amen. And then he'll take that little lamb and lay it by the fire to get it warm. And he'll wrap it up in a blanket and put it next to his chest. Well, that lamb can hear his heart. Mm -hmm. Everywhere he'll take, he'll take that little lamb with him. And that lamb will be so close to the shepherd, he can mm -hmm. see the very, mm -hmm. hear, the, hear the very heartbeat of the shepherd. Mm -hmm. It could take weeks before the lamb is ready to be took back and put in the fold. But he'll do that. And many times, too, and I'm going to go ahead and mix up two messages in one with your eye. Amen. Many times, the lamb, another a, the, a lamb will get to work, it runs off. And the shepherd keeps getting the lamb back in, but it'll keep running off. Until the shepherd does something. He'll take that little bitty lamb, and he'll take that little lamb in his arm. And he'll bend in little front legs and grab that shepherd's tail and break both, hands, both, both front legs. After he does that, he'll take that oil out of that shepherd bag. He'll go ahead and he'll anoint, he'll put that oil on that shepherd, on them, on that limb, limb, he'll set that bones. And he has a big old shepherd's coat on the inside there, a big old pocket. He'll slide that lamb in that pocket on the left side mm. over his heart. And that lamb would be a lot of pain and a lot of anger, just like the rejected lamb. And I can hear that shepherd right now talking to that lamb. It's going to be odd, right, little fellow. You're going to be better. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, son. Don't worry about it. I've got you right where I am. <laughs> it may hurt now, but later on, you're going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you glad when we're Christians tonight, we can get rebellious from, listen to me tonight, yeah. we can get rebellious from God and sometimes He has to break us. Yeah, yeah. That's Not good. to destroy us, but to bring us back to Him. That's good. Yes, good praise Amen. 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 That old lamb goes to that shepherd everywhere he goes. Everyone's <laughs> waiting to hear that heartbeat. He can feel the closest to the shepherd. This little lamb here has been rejected by the, by the flock. We see here, after a while, that little lamb will get strong enough. Now, it's going to be a short message, but it, it'll help you if you listen. Yes. That little lamb will get strong <laughs> enough. The one that was rejected, one that he fed, one that he walked up in the, in the blanket, one that he put in his shepherd. It, it, uh, close to his heart, he released it back into the flock. Then the other lamb, we talked about that one, is rebelled against the shepherd, run off, and he keeps coming back and running back off, and he breaks his legs to keep him from running. I want to ask you tonight, too, tonight, you may be away from God tonight, but God and I will end up breaking you, my friend. Amen. That he can bring you back into him. We can make excuses and 
and act like it don't happen. But eventually that little lamb, his legs will heal up. And he'll take that little lamb, unwrap all the little bandages, and legs can bend again. And he'll take it and return it back to the land, to, to the to the flock. But I will show you something here. There's something, and I'm, I guess, I'm fixing to finish it up already, but there's something I want to show you tonight. That shepherd never forgets what how the shepherd cared for him when his mama rejected him. <laughs> and they say this. This goes to both of them. The, the one that rebelled and got away and got back, and the one that was rejected. They say when that shepherd gets out and calls the sheep for the sheep, He'll be the first one to get to it. <laughs> Amen. First one to get to the shepherd. Amen. How? Oh, he knows what he done for it. He knows how he took care of it. Hey, the devil will get the heart of the shepherd. Yeah. 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 You may have rejected God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You may turn your back on God. God will break you when he does. Yeah. You'll never get yeah. over yeah. time and will forget when he took care of you and get right back to it. Amen. 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 Because that little bummer, that little bummer sheep, he, 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 he remembers the Lord for the shepherd. Yes, he does. Joe Arthur, he's preaching to meet somewhere. And his pastor, Brother Phil, he raised sheep. And oh, Brother Joe, you've got another Brother Joe. Mm -hmm. I won't say much about him, man, God, but he's crazy. <laughs> but Brother Joe said he'd get in there and said, Walked out there and saw the sheep. He said, How? He said, How did you get him in the feelings? I called. He said, You reckon they'll come if I call him? He said, Try. But Joe said, Here's sheepy, sheepy. Nothing like that. I don't know what he says. If it didn't sheep, didn't move, Brother Phil. That, that little shepherd said, You step back. Mm. All he had to do was say one word. You see, you look like a bunch of little bitty balls of balls of cotton. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, the shepherd, the sheep, you might know the, the shepherd's voice. Yes. Let me tell you, sometime, my friends, we close our ears to the to the calling and to the direction of the shepherd. But that that bummer sheep has been rejected. He knows the, the voice of me. Because he gets to that shepherd first, it don't mean that he's loved more than the rest of them. It don't mean that. That little bummer sheep knows immediately. <laughs> Lord, how works. Bless you, Jesus. <laughs> Woo! That's you, Lord. Mm. The one who loved him and experienced that love. Yes. One on one. Yeah. Woo! Mm. Woo! That's good. That's good. <laughs> So many of us sometimes become bummer lambs. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we get away from God. Yeah. God allows things to happen in our lives. To break us. It may be something that will scar you in life emotionally. But God does what he knows he has to do. Amen. Yes, he does. And when you do get the word and get back with God and get back in fellowship with God, you'll never ever forget that voice. Yes. Yeah. Right. Amen. I'm glad he's a good shepherd. He, 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 he cares for the sheep. Yes, he does. I thought about that when Brother Philip talking about. Listen, I thank God for people giving glory to God for this thing about that. Sometimes we brought God to the glory when yeah. we fail to brag on what he's done. That's right. Amen. Hey, have you ever been when you can't pay it out with me? Amen. Amen. You ever been when you ain't got money to hold it back? I guess you get back for what we're showing that. Yeah, amen. But I'm glad that none of them you that God is still hurting on the hand. Hey, 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 h
God loves you. Yeah. God is love, the Bible does say. Remember this scripture, God is a consuming fire too. Yeah. Amen. That old little sheep, every time he sees that shepherd, mm -hmm. he remembers. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Never forget. Amen. Mm. That's good. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He remembers what happened. Yes, he does. When he rebelled against God. Mm. That old Shabama, she remembers when his mama rejected him. Yeah. Oh, how he wanted somebody to love him. Yeah, yeah. But guess what? He found the best friend he ever Yes, he did. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to tell you tonight, friend. Oh, God. There's not a lone, no more greater friend tonight than Jesus. We yes. Amen. Amen. We were all bummer lambs. Yes, mm -hmm. I went out in the field and went to see him. Come on, preacher. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> oh, my. Oh, whoo. Oh, on that night I got saved. The Holy Ghost of God <laughs> rubbed my bell. I heard that voice for the first time. Come. Mm. Jesus said, come. Yes, Lord of God. And I kneeled on my knees and I cried. Come on, preacher. Amen. And he saved me. There's been time in my Christian life that I hadn't, I hadn't been able to hear his voice as good as I ought to. But when you get around and get to pray and think about what God has done and thank him, ain't it so good to hear that voice? I saw on this on YouTube, it blessed my soul. This little girl, the little baby, about three, about two years old, had never heard mama's voice. She did. Never heard music. And they got some kind of implant to put in that baby's ears. And they recorded the first time she heard her mama's voice. And her mama got talking to her and that little baby started laughing. Was ecstatic. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, when you hear God, <laughs> when you hear that voice, you'll be ecstatic too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll tell you what, my friend, mm -hmm. that old Bob Malay, I'm going to think about it. <laughs> he, he might grow to be an old, old sheep, but he never forgets. <laughs> what that shepherd you got done in next week. We're celebrating tonight, you know, next week, the birth of our Lord and Savior. Yes. The darling Lamb of God. I remember old John. Over in John 1, chapter 1. He looked and saw Jesus come and he said, Behold, what the Lamb of God. <laughs> Which takes it away to set the world. Mm. I never want to get to the place I think I'm too big. Yes, sir. That's I'm right. too, I, I don't want to ever get to the place where I think I'm too good to praise Him. Yeah, yeah. been too good to yes, me. Amen. I look across the congregation tonight. I thank God for every one of you tonight. And I thank God God let me be here. I thank God where God brought me from. Yeah, yeah. I go, God, do it. Right. 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 I'll tell you what, friend, I know this is 
Most preacher people traditionally think you're supposed to preach all prayer. That isn't about prayer, about the lamb. The lamb is the one that was slain, the one that was born that night. Do you know that, that you know the night that Jesus was born, that they were raising the sacrificial lamb for the altar in Jerusalem about that time? That ain't no coincidence for him. No. Because he was born to die on the altar in Jerusalem. And yes, he was. was. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you something tonight, Trey. This is about all I got tonight. I'm going to tell you what's for him. But I'm glad I could run to him. Yes. I'm glad he won't reject me. Yes. You read in the Bible. I'll challenge you to read this Bible. There's never been a time in the Bible that when somebody cried out to Jesus in faith for help, he did help them. That's right. That's true. Yeah. He yeah. never said, I ain't got time for you. Yeah. He didn't say, you don't dress right. You don't look right. You're not nice looking enough, or you're not rich enough, you're not smart enough. I'm glad that the ground was level at the cross. Still is. Yes, sir. Well, folks, that's all I got for you tonight. Yes, I hope that might have helped you a little bit. Yes, 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 yes. I apologize for the shortness of the message. But uh, I'm sure later on I'll make it up. I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's remember this tonight, folks, please. Don't ever get too big for your britches. Amen. 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 Don't ever get too big for your faith, too big for God to, to, to act for, for the little for God. That's right, brother. Right. Right. I've seen too many people tonight that have gotten to the point in their life they didn't think they didn't need God no more. Yes. They ended up in a bad way, some of them ended up in the grave. <coughs> some end up with something that they at least crawled with the rest of them. I preached a message years ago if they had only listened. I'll tell you what, friend, tonight, aren't you glad we're celebrating Christmas next year, next week? Yeah, yes. When it's Saturday, is it Saturday? Mm -hmm. Saturday is it? Yeah. I don't keep up with it. But I'll tell you what, friend, we're going to have a great time. Yeah. But you know what? The greatest story ever written when Jesus Christ came to die for the covenant and born to die for the I know this is uh, what to thought, what, what to put together for the message the first time we two in the one they will go out. Yeah. But I'll tell you one friend night, friend. You ought to thank God every day for what you have. We complain about a lot of things, but at least we got what we, a lot of us, a lot of us right here tonight, and be honest, you're going to, you're a lot better off than you was 20 years ago. Amen, Amen. sir. Amen. 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 You're a lot better off. <laughs> you look at your home, look at your, look at what God's done for you. Amen. You know who did that? You did do it. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's true. Yeah. God that it, that's your house of God yeah, that you bought it. Yeah, that you bought it. Right. Hey. Well it's in my name. I'll tell you what, who do you think who you created the wood? You built that house. That's, that's, right. Right. that's right. I thank God for the daughter and man of God. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm glad he took that old bum on land and made a bread for him out of it. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm glad when I rejected him, he didn't reject me, he cut. That's right. Yeah. Old Squire says, right, first he came. I couldn't go to where he was. He could clean the wild. Yeah. Let's stand.